Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. The last episode was very salt inducing, but I think we're ready for another one. Uh, maybe a slightly easier one, or maybe a slightly harder one. We have got a lot of level 4s. I'm kind of tempted to D, uh, to D do D here, because we have got two things now. Uh, these things are, are pretty bad, to be fair. Um, I'm okay with lethargy, because uh, a healer that goes last is usually okay. Although we have discovered in the previous episode that a healer that goes last can in some cases be a problem because we'd like the healer to go before the combat ends so that we can actually do some healing. But that's such an, uh, a niche situation that I'm not too worried about it. Shall we A, take out some of the low-level peoples and do a quick run, or B, take out some of the high-level peoples and do a slightly longer run? I'm thinking that now that Ash is level 4... We don't need to worry about the fact that D is in for treatment, so let's have a look at our options. We have 71 of each of these, so we could start trading them about. But I think we'll do that uh, later on, to be fair. Our cove has now got a apprentice-level boss in it, and our ruins has got a new thing, apprentice-level boss in it as well. So I think, why don't we take an apprentice-level team to the ruins? That's going to be level 2's max, I think. Yeah. Quiet. Um, so the ruins we might as well take, Mr. Steve. Martinus has got a great damage output. Raikuda or Marie. We do need a healer for that, actually, which might have to be Erasmus because everyone else has leveled away. Erasmus, do you have the necessary? You do. So, but should we take a level 0 healer? Still 0 to 12, which is actually basically all we need him for. We should also check for new recruits. I do like Hellion. Let's have a sort by class and see what we've got. We have one leper, which we're not really using very much because we don't know how. Uh, two, three of those, two Hellions, one uh, abomination, two of those. Only one bounty hunter. Maybe we should take a second bounty hunter. Let's do that. The thrill of not the sorted hunt. by class anymore, apparently. The promise of payment. Three of those. I kind of feel like a Hellion is a decent thing to take, but I would also rather wait for another grave robber. Let's wait for another grave robber to show up. That seems like a good idea. Yes. Well thought through. Thank you, Problem Ducks, who are currently watching. You're in the right position. Yes, sort of. Right, you have a lunge and then a shadow fade, so the shadow fade is what happens when you lunge too far. How far does the lunge go? Two. But you only fade back one, so actually you start at the back. And then we want probably Marie... Because Mary came out recently um, with us to... I want to sort by level, thank you. Uh, yeah, just to get some levels and to get some loot. But Mary has no stress at all. Everything seems to be leveled up. So Mary might as well come with us. At level 1, though... No, 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 no. Think about this properly. You need level 2s to do a boss, really. The only level 1 we're taking is the... Well, level 0, to be fair, is going to be Erasmus because the healing of 0 to 12 is 0 to 12 irrespective of level, basically. That's still a good heal. Uh, you're going to be in the second position, so that makes sense. And I'm thinking maybe... Oh, we can't take Viz, so we should take Raikuda. No, we can't. That's where Erasmus... There we go. Think about it. Th think about it. Good. Trinkets. We've already brought them back at the end of the last episode. We do have... Scrolling is really slow. Uh, death blow resist, less stress damage, less blight and bleed resist, which is kind of okay. There are some of those in the ruins. 5% prot seems like a good idea. But do we just want to give you more general HP? Stun resist is fine. Less crit, that's okay. More HP, less speed. Uh, I suppose so. Or stun resist. Yeah, screw it. You get more HP. There you go, 44. That's quite a lot. You are going to be a DPS dealer. Now I think about it, does Martinus have anything that benefits... Why did I click there when he's right there? Uh, a mark. Not really. Do you have two things? You can actually get your mark thing going on. We don't need that, but we can put that back on. We could do that. But the things that are going to be at the back are going to be bone courtiers, which are not going to bleed at all. And it doesn't move them. That does, though. 
That does. We don't want to spend the cash. We did spend a lot of cash in the last episode. So I'm going to try not to spend any this time. So we don't need bleed skills, but we do possibly want stun skills or just more DPS. If we can manage it. Hmm. Nope. Position 4. High speed. You're getting this. Because the first thing you're going to do is lunge. Which puts you in the right position to actually do this stuff. Though you can do it from the second position, which is really nice, but... Honestly, that's not that big a deal. Maybe if we had a Vestal there, but we don't. But I still think it's a good idea, so we'll continue with it. And then... Just a, a high DPS, or maybe an accuracy thing with your melee skills. I think these are all melee. Melee, that's range, and that's melee, and that's range. Uh, half melee, half range, apparently, so fair enough. You're going to do the usual thing, where you take this and probably this one, because it's a very high percentage. The stress damage we can deal with at the end. And then, what did we decide for you? We didn't. You are melee. So, I guess you just don't take a range skill thing. Crit and dodge? Sure. Crit seems good against for a, um, a DPS character, especially this one, which has its own synergy between the marking and the and the stabbing with the marked thingy. Damage versus beast is not useful, but there is damage versus human, which seems to be a reasonable quantity of the stuff in there. So that's everybody done, right? Let's just double check. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we'll check that out. It's going to be a medium mission, so we're going to have to spend quite, quite a lot on provisioning again. Uh, we have started off with one shovel, so we have to buy two, which is nice. I do like it when you only have to buy two shovels. I might as well just go the little bit extra, right, and get one more hunger out of it. Buy one of those. We'll get a couple of keys. I'm not intending necessarily to bring too much back. Mostly because that's not why we're going. We're going there to kill the sonorous prophet or something. I mean, it's probably just a big mouth, right? Uh, we'll take a couple of bandages. Especially if you're going to accidentally bleed us, that would be nice to have. I think this is a good amount of stuff. Again, we're not really going for loot. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. He's not wrong. The echoes of his either. mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. Okay. This is slightly further away than this, so I'm going here. See if I don't. Again, it's not a... Uh... A loot mission, although bringing back extra loot would be fine. Ignore those, please. Thank you. So, carrying stuff that assists us with the curios is, is not a huge concern. That's basically what I'm saying there. There is a encounter on the way here. Boom. It's just, uh, just spiders. Guess you kill the one that we hate the most. The pit. I knew there was a reason I brought Martinus along, and it's that. 6 to 12. 6 to 12. It doesn't matter. They're both dead. If we can get through this without doing any damage, taking any damage at all, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, sure, why don't you um, do one damage to that, since that's all you can do. And of course you managed to uh, let them get a go, because you've got reduced speed thanks to this. Thing, but it's still kind of low to begin with. Hmm. As victories mount, <coughs> will Excuse me. Uh, tremendous. That was almost worth the price that we paid for those herbs. Citrine, yeah, 250 gold. Not Ideal. Two of these. 
Uh, I think if you do that right, you end up losing stress. I was just about to put a key in that. I knew it was trapped. You didn't wait, did you? I could have told you. Do we bring a key? Brought some keys. We could have brought some keys. Well, we're hungry. Yeah, you can suffer as well, frankly. You get what you deserve. This is where we use our key. Right, you lunge. Excellent. Can you kill that? Yes. Love that attack so much, which is why we gave Martinus the uh, quick draw amulet. You're just going to... I don't care, you're bleeding. That's what's going to happen. So I'm going to mark for death this one with the high protection. On the principle, it did work, that we can probably kill these other two reasonably easily. Uh, vulnerability hex is less dodge, so we should probably do that on this. No dodge, no dodge, yeah. Of course it dodged the... Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's alright, we're dodging as well. This What goes around comes around. Can't help but notice that we have uh, going to have difficulty actually hitting the back there. I suppose we have zealous accusation to try and get two things into one hit range. One hit wonder range. So you're going to go later now because the quick draw amulet has the negative effect of causing you to have a slower speed after the first round. None of our shots can hit the back. Can anybody hit the back with anything? Have I ruined this run by not being able to kill things at the back? Let's have, I want to have a look and see what... Uh, oh, blimey. What Vague can do. Uh, stunned. That's us. We're stunned. We don't want to do that. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, I was mildly concerned that there would be a, an issue, but... Turned out to be okay. That's what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and flashing daggers again, or maybe shadow fade. Get rid of these ones in the middle. We've been moved around again, which happened a lot in the previous episode, and I wasn't too happy about it then. But Just do ten of these, and <laughs> we'll be okay. Um, I guess it is what it is. If we can bring one of them forwards... Continue the onslaught. Destroy. We shall. To do any damage, no. It does give us dodge, though, so we should just... We should use it, even though it has no effect on the enemy. Can we just kill one of these? Yeah, we can. We should do that, then. It brings that one into range of everybody, whereas previously it was in range of nobody, which is too few people. I'm pretty sure we can... Um, can anybody hit... Can't hit the back? The only one that can hit the back is the mark. This is terrible. I've... I've literally not considered that. That's a bit of a problem. As long as we keep doing that sort of damage, we can remove corpses and bring them on. So we're going to have to make the most of it, is what I'm suggesting. Because, um, you know, we're here. That's pretty good, but also it was kind of shit. But yeah. Ch what? Ch well done. At least you dodged it. But seriously. Glittering gold. Try scouting every once in a while. Again, I probably overstocked on torches. Um, I'd kind of rather do that than find that at the end of the run we're going into the boss fight in the dark, right? Because this could have been one of those just straight runs where you have to go all the way through the dungeon to get to the boss, which, to be fair, has yet to happen. Surprised? Hooray! Oh, I didn't do the thing. Whatever. Didn't move you back. Supposed to move you back. Okay. <laughs> Just critting a lot. I think that's... Um, I don't know what did that. I'll be honest, our new Erasmus Occultus here has not had much opportunity to do amazingly well. But we just sort of shout on them, so... Deal with it. At least we got our herbs back, I guess. Or is it merely... I guess I'm happy. I'm pleased. Oh, our torch went down. Oh well. Not surprised. I didn't move! 
We'll do this and then next turn we'll shadow fade and see if we can lunge. It's a bit of a misplay. I, I need to stop doing that. Weirdly reconstruct Mr. Steve at the front. You must remember that not all units have got... Uh, that's 44 HP there whilst this is only 20 odd. 30. So you must remember that the size of the gap does not necessarily represent the amount of HP that they're missing. Not many humans so far. Many crits though, which is really, really valuable. Pretty good. Very close to death, but unfortunately not close enough. And they're all missing, so that's also pretty good. I'm very glad that you can cope in that position. Again, I, I talked about this over and over again, but I've still yet to actually, you know, <laughs> cement it in my own brain that you're supposed to make sure that the units can cope with all the positions that your mobile unit is going to be in, not just the ones, like, it moves two forwards when it lunges, but I only checked that, ba that um, Erasmus could continue to do... Heal from the positions that he would be in when Martinez is lunging around. We have got um, these, which is actually a blight, which I'd forgotten about. This is is really valuable. I have no use for that. Now you get to the back. So I basically, I'm saying I'd failed to consider whether Vague could do everything that I want Vague to be able to do when Martinez has lunged forward two points rather than just the one. There is a trap, so don't walk straight into the trap like you're very good at doing. There is the boss in that direction as well. So I feel pretty good about having done that right. 100%, 70%, 50%, 110%. Martinez, you're it. Probably would have got a bit of stress. Look how much stress Mr. Uh, the Erasmus has got. I said Mr. Steve because it's written down there. Uh, just from being the target of all those stress attacks, it's outrageous. Now it must be carried home. Uh, crappy little box. Again, Martinez. Can't hit the back, but this is a stress unit as well. Please don't dodge it. That was actually quite disappointing. And the reason it was disappointing is that I've got so used to that being such an amazing attack. Which is my fault. Shouldn't have got, you know, that hooked on the idea that it always does really well. Sometimes it doesn't. And you have to be prepared for that. You are down by... Enough that I'm considering healing yourself. We should probably do that. And the chances of us getting a bleed on any of this is so remote that I'm not even <laughs> not even mentioning it, to be fair. Uh, we could deprop... Or we could just hit, right? Well, that's human as well. So, could kill it. Not quite. Pretty close. Which is good. I like pretty close. Martinez, why are you bleeding? I didn't give you any permission to do that. <sighs> Brazilla's accusation, which is a kill plus. That crit didn't leave a corpse. So I'm pretty sure in some situations, if you do enough damage, perhaps if you do so much damage that you would have also killed the corpse as well, you do. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense. I'm just wondering whether you were paying attention. The, when I say does that make sense, I'm also sort of being polite. I'm trying to say, you know, I've said a thing and I'm hoping that it is valuable for me to have said it to you. Well, I guess we'll do this. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. And then we hit this. And then Martinez will eventually get a go. Like, <laughs> you can't hit anything. What's the matter with you? Don't even have the... Um, Heal. Do you actually have the heal? No, but you do have that. Which could be okay, but I'm not going to do it. Let's just do that. Do a lunge again. But don't kill it. I wanted to heal you. Again, you've done it to yourself. You lot are this bad. You just always... Ah, you're very frustrating people. Hmm. This is not very valuable. This is worth less than that gold. So we'll get rid of that. That's also worth quite a lot. 
But we want to keep all these things, especially the portrait. Um... It's a bit of a shame to get rid of the shovels we paid so much for, but... Whatever, right? This is actually the last room before... What was in there? What was in there? Someone go back and look at the recording. I don't remember what was in there. We're going to camp. Because this is the last room before the boss. And again, I don't really know what this boss is going to do. And vulnerable. It could Rats be horrible. A maze. Kind of expecting it to be. Also, when we get back, remind me to unlock the fourth camping for most of these people. For all of these people. The fourth camping uh, thingy. We should definitely go through everybody and make sure everybody is up to date. But the problem is, we never have the capital to do all of it. Do you know what I mean? Remove mortality debuffs. Everyone loses stress, but not everyone has too much stress. You've got a lot of stress, but you're brand new. And we'll probably send you in. That's not valuable. No dis Do you have a disease? I didn't realise you had the disease removal camping skill. Because had I known now, I probably wouldn't have put various people in for disease removal in the uh, actual, um, you know, in the in town. More accuracy, more crit. Down with that. Right. Not necessarily great. Still not great. Well, these are not really brilliant. Oh, you can do it to yourself or to a companion rather than... Right, less stress damage, I'm not sure we need it. Scouting chance not valuable. I guess we do this. But, like, why? <laughs> Talk to him. There we go. How much have you got? Seven. So we do this one as well. No, you've got no stress. You've got less stress. We've got two turns left. We can... Maybe surprise the boss? Is that even possible? Even less stress damage? I guess you've been taking a lot. And I think that the unit we're coming up against, the boss that we're coming up against, I'm fairly sure is basically a boss version of these madmen. So I'm thinking it's going to be a high stress boss. Oh, hello. It's fine. <laughs> He's still bleeding. You've been asleep all night. You're still bloody bleeding. Sorted. Game over. GG. Dead. Yep, perfect. Okay, well... The way is lit. The path is clear. That's fine. We you go there. The to you go it. there. That's what we want. Right. Go! Now, I think it's a high-stress boss, so we're going to have to whale it down pretty fast. Now you just said... Is that hegemony or whatever it is? They're always trapped! You dick. What have we got here? Plutomania. So that makes you use this is a fucking another one. Stay here. <laughs> Stressing me out. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's always trapped, bro. I need to heal you. Eat some food. Is that it? Are you full? Everyone's full. Perfect. No traps. Oh, the light! I think it's okay. The That's right. There. So it's at the back. Oh, this is a big problem. Uh, this is a... Well, we just poison it. Can we kill these? I fucking hope so. We might have... We're gonna have to, basically. But I'm assuming that they will fall apart. We need to bring the boss forwards, otherwise we have no chance. Everyone dodged that, which is superb, because uh, I was very much up for <laughs> not having this thing. Have you noticed how it's getting attacked after every single one of our attacks? It's just, it's just outrageous. So this thing here, I believe, means that those are the people going to get squished next. 
right? So you're going to keep putting the dots on this until we get to the point where you can start lunging at it, which is approximately now. Everyone moves? Yes, that's exactly what we want. Now, don't bring any more of that shit back. For goodness sake. I do kind of need to keep hitting these, because you... We can stun it, maybe. No, 100% stun resist. So we need to keep taking these out so that it's in the second position. But honestly, it's not been quite as bad as I was expecting. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that. As I was anticipating it having been. Dodges? No dodges. Blight? Blights? Blights. No... What are you supposed to do about that? Can you avoid that? I don't know. That was again kind of disappointing. One more of these. I mean, you're not bleeding at least, so you've not got a a death door thing going on. Still got eight, so I'm just gonna have to uh, get rid of it. Right now, we're in business. Oh my god. You just killed Erasmus outright. How the fuck are you supposed to avoid that attack? It just dropped 22 damage worth of fucking rocks on his head. I, I, I know that I've been whingy recently, but that, like, even the cannon, you had a way of not getting the attack, right? This didn't have it. And you two are going to own... Like, is everybody about to die? What the fuck do we do? Do you have to move the people who were there so that you don't get the thing anymore? I don't know. Can we stun it? No. Maybe we can kill it fast enough? Nah. We out. We can't do this. We haven't got a healer anymore. He just died straight away. Stop now. Let me leave. We're going. We're out. Sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. Well, we need a new Erasmus. Wounds to be tended. What the fuck was that? Lessons to be learned. Let's go to the wiki right now, on camera. Darkest Dungeon Wiki. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just click on. Click on. Erasmus is already dead. I'm sure he's going to be pleased to learn about that. Well, we'll bring back a new one. Everyone's got massive stress. Fuck me. What bollocks? What was that called? Sonorous. I was lord of this place before the crows Prophet. and Prophet. Rats there we go. made it their domain. Ah. Uh, Erasmus is already dead. <laughs> Absolutely nonsense. Have we got another Erasmus? No. We've got another grave robber though, which is exactly what I asked for. So there is that. Those with a keen eye. In fact, you can be Erasmus. Point. Erasmus. There we go. Erasmus is now a grave robber. Let's have a look at this. Abilities. Uh, it doesn't say. What the fuck do we do? Strategy. Use high damage to direct four attacks. Stack damage debuffs. Stun resist and blow resist. Manage rubble of ruin damage. It's always foreshadowed by a calamitous prognostication to plan for the incoming damage. You can't avoid it. You are gonna get hit. So, maybe obviously our, well, my, um, <laughs> my mistake was to take a level zero healer, well, a level zero anything basically, um, into the boss fight. But we don't have any level zero healers, which means we're gonna have to wait. Such a long time before we could try that boss because we don't have any healing down here at all. We haven't seen a fucking Vestal for some time. 
So we're just going to have to keep doing runs and doing runs until this piece of crap actually brings us what we want. In fact, this is the point at which we start doing this. I know we were saving up portraits, probably for the guild. In this domain of the damned. But we can't. <laughs> right, let's get these people in for stress relief. That was a horrible run. So I guess we're going to be doing a... Um, we're going to be doing a, a Sir Gyrus run sometime soon. Oh, we should... Is this going to... A little hope, however desperate, is never without worth. That's probably worthwhile. That'll increase the stress recovery and therefore get us... Can you, have you got an unquiet mind? I bet you have. But I bet you've not got an unquiet belly, so you can drink your woes away. There you go. Well, that was bollocks and bullshit. Super stressy IRL and <laughs> super stressy in-game. Super salty run. Let's in the next run maybe just take out Sir Gyrus and Raikuda and these, you know, high damage. Let's just do another DPS run. We know we're good at it. We want some more money. We need some more things. You will get out of there. So where are we going to go? No, 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 it's a long no. It's a boss, why am I even clicking on the boss? Short apprentice mission, we we'll get another one of those. That's where we're going, a ruins mission with Sajiris, maybe Marie, Raikuda and Viz? Sure. Or Erasmus, yeah let's take Erasmus again. Do you want to die again? It's going to happen. Well thank you for watching, I'm sorry that uh, Erasmus died immediately but it is what it is, that's the game. Uh, so until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you then.